you cannot ask a lady that kind of question. <laughs> well, I'm the uh, longest serving member of staff. I don't know, I think the way we address teachers is one thing, you know, immediately um, makes it feel a little less formal than normal schools. We respect the, uh, the, the individual, you know, they come in, you know, they, uh, we make them feel as if, not as if, <laughs> we make them feel, you know, that they can't, what they say is, is, uh, is important. It's a, it's a discipline, it's the way you discipline your mind, you solve puzzles every day, you, you learn to think, you, you become logical, you value structure, uh, you learn how to put forward your reason, you know, you've got to be precise in what you say. I don't think I do it consciously, but I think it does happen, yes, you know. Um, when I have a conversation with students, it, I, I think I drive them mad sometimes. But <laughs> um, yes, I don't know what you're saying. Say it again. But think about what you're saying, you know, so I can understand you. Uh, yes, of course, yes. Just about, you know, sometimes it could be about a decision to retake or not retake a certain AS unit. UCAS applications and how they work and how the reference writing works. Let them know how their son or daughter is at college. Um, because sometimes teenagers don't say anything about <laughs> what goes on in college and they just like to know. Um, they very often don't find the words actually. I suppose the words um, funny and scary sometimes come together. Um, strict and kind. Uh, I think more importantly to me is how not so much what they think of me as a person, but um, how their attitude to the subject and learning in, in, in general changes. Good old much when they come out of the exam. That's more important.